Hello, this is the Clay Golem. Welcome back to Foundry VTT and Curse of Strahd, and specifically looking at the Death House. It's not going to be a long video, this one, um, but in the previous video, we created our layers. So we've got all of our layers in now for our entire map laid out, and we walled everything up. Well, sort of. <laughs> Did it off camera. Um, but we got ourselves ready to go. And one of the things I said was, oh, we wanted to put some atmospherics on. But the challenge we've got, so I've just got the standard foundry um, background effects on here for their fog. But of course, the fog travels through the house and we don't want it to do that. Um, and I know there's going to be a way to do that. Wasn't too sure what it was at the time. Um, and it was something to ponder. Mr. Esdin has very kindly in the comments of that video put uh, that you can block weather inside the house in Foundry 11 using a plugin called uh, Weather Block or Weather Blocking um, from the Ripper. And I'm thinking, hang on a minute, we've looked at loads of Ripper stuff. I've not come across that. What's going on? So really, really useful. Very much appreciate that input. Um, looked up that module uh, and the Ripper has, uh, well, he no longer supporting it. So does it work? Probably, but for how long? Not too sure. So what the Ripper actually says is that he's no longer supporting that module as of version 10, but we can do that using F F FX Master instead. Oh, we've already got FX Master in. So um, what I want to do in this video is show you how we do that instead. So I'm going to turn off this, um, this fog here, get rid of that. So here's our scene. It's far too um, bright and cheerful <laughs> for Curse of Strahd. We want to put some fog effects on, etc. So over on the left-hand side, I've got my effects controls, uh, which comes from FX Master. I can go to my particle effects window. Here it is. Select my weather option. And of course, we want fog. Um, and we just click Save Changes, make sure that starts to bring that fog in for us. And as we know, because when we looked at this um, add-on before, we can adjust the, the scale, speed, density, and all of those things we want, and it gives us a really nice fog. But of course, we have got this inside the house. Let me just turn my levels on here so we can see, yeah, this is the ground floor. We've got fog in. Uh, we've got it on the second floor, in the attic, everywhere. We, we don't want it there. So how do we, using FX Master, uh, get rid of the fog in the house? It's actually quite easy, um, but we didn't cover it previously. So if I go to my drawing tools, I can select a shape, in this case a rectangle, and I'm going to draw around the house like that. Bosh. Pretty much aligning with the walls I've got. Now a quick right click onto that drawing, and I suddenly have very small, up in the top left hand corner of my drawing, this little icon here. It's, <laughs> it's almost like they don't want you to find it. It's very tiny. If I click on that, I can toggle this as a mask for weather effects. So just by doing that, we've got no fog in the house, which is perfect and exactly what we wanted. Now we can make sure that the, uh, the image itself is hidden, etc., uh, or the drawing rather, and get rid of that. So this is the ground floor. First floor is clear, second floor is clear, the attic is clear. That's what we want, isn't it? Nice and easy. Um, let me turn my FX off again. Um, let's select Haley so Haley can see that, yeah, she's around the house, it's foggy. If we open the door and go into the house, it's not foggy indoors here, which is exactly what we want. Uh, I haven't got a light source for her, but uh, yeah. Not foggy indoors at all, outside foggy. So that's going to work absolutely perfectly exactly how we wanted it, which is nice. So just coming out of that again. Now all we really need to do is to consider whether we need to adjust the fog here um, or whether we um, just play with the lighting. Now I think for this outside I have had it all lit up here, um, but I can obviously turn all of these lights down significantly or I can... Uh, reset that. Um, if I bring down the global transition it to darkness, it's not going to have a huge effect because I've got these lights. It's making the inside of the house dark, which is what we want, but the outside of the house remains pretty well lit. But I can just adjust those lights down without too much drama um, and we can solve that particular issue. Uh, if I double click on this one, if I can get it to do it, uh, anything I want here I can just you know, for example, I can get rid of the bright completely and only have only have it dim. 
that will make quite a difference and I can bring any of those things down that I want to uh, how luminous it is etc and uh, we will slowly be able to get that where we want it to um, for the lighting for this scene because obviously I want the inside of the house to be dark so I'm going to play with that off screen and get that ready um, but it means that we're in a position where our outside of our house, our initial encounter when we come to the house, we're going to have the effects we want with regard to the fog and everything else working just the way we want, which will be brilliant. So like I say, nice quick video. Just wanted to show you that about how to do those weather effects. Really easy to do, but really, really effective. Um, another little problem solved. Uh, so I'm going to make this a part of an add-on as well as part of the Curse of Strahd playlist just so that people see it all over the place. Uh, and just one other little update because a few people have been asking over the over the past few months really um, about donations and things that I do now have a coffee uh, link which you'll find in the description if you do want to support me and buy me, well, a cup of tea. <laughs> I'm British after all. <laughs> um that would be amazing but please don't feel any pressure to do that i'm going to be doing these videos anyway um but yes if you do feel like you want to support and you're enjoying what i do um obviously like the videos leave comments subscribe if you haven't and if you're really feeling particularly generous um or drunk whichever um yeah coffee links in the description thanks everyone take care